What have we been doing? We need to go to Ghana. That is on our list. Hot. What? So how long have you been open officially? Um, here I've been open since April of last year. 2023? Yep. But I've been doing this for five years since 2019. I did it as a pop-up on the weekends while I was still doing my full-time job. Okay. And did that at farmers markets, mostly in Northern Virginia, but then also in DC as well. Um, did a four and a half month pop-up in Tyson's Galleria. And then after that, started looking for my own place and then found this place. Congratulations. Thank you. With the, con with the concept for Hedgele, um, it was my way of somewhat reclaiming or claiming my Americanness as, as much as my um, my Ghanaian heritage because I think all too often people have an expectation that you're supposed to be one way or appear some one way or eat oh, one right. way yeah. because I'm of Ghanaian descent. Um, but as I mentioned to you earlier, I grew up eating traditional food some days eating American food some days, and some mm -hmm. days I ate a little combination of the both. Um, right. And um, I don't look at that as fusion. I don't think I'm fusion. I just think I'm a regular Ghanaian American girl. So. And that, make, <laughs> that makes sense now. Yeah. Um, so I would, I, I fancy myself a Pan-Africanist, and I feel like um, African culture has always, not always, but as long as African people have been here, we have been the foundation of culture here. Um, so I think I'm just maybe, how would I describe it? I, um, I don't want to say best of both worlds because I don't know that I'm necessarily doing the best of both worlds. I'm just doing things that I think make sense and work together. Okay. Um, so I have cabbage on the menu and I had that on the menu because that's something that I grew up eating um, quite often. Um, but even though cabbage is not, you know, indigenous to West Africa, but my African mom, that's what she would do. Yeah. Um, I would have this stew. If you see stew or soup, as some folks refer to it, we say stew in Ghana, not soup like some mm -hmm. other places <laughs> do. Um, but sometimes I might have that with mashed potatoes, even though traditionally that sounds good. <laughs> it, it tastes really good. Um, even though yeah. traditionally it's more likely eaten with white rice or yam. Mm -hmm. um, but as I mentioned, uh, to me, that was my normal. Um, that was, that's authentic to me. Yeah. Um, so in terms of me, when I was coming up with the concept, me doing just a straight traditional Ghanaian restaurant, it didn't feel right to me because that's not, that's not me. That's not authentic to my right. experience. Okay. And I figured that there are other people that probably grew up similar to the way that I did. <laughs> See, <laughs> and and um, you find that in every culture. I mean, what we refer to as Chinese food is not very much like food when you go to China. Mm -hmm. um, even what we refer to as Italian cuisine is not. I mean, it, it's Italian-ish, but it's probably more American. <laughs> yeah, it's than, all American. <laughs> um, and again, I think like I was mentioning to you before, it's. I feel like in this country, sometimes being black, you're not American enough. And then me being of Ghanaian descent, some people like to try to determine whether or not I'm black enough or American enough or wow. African enough. And I'm like, I can't be all three. <laughs> right. For me, I'm all three, so, yeah. Thank you. Yes. Very neat. Yeah. 
It smells so good. I know. I'm sorry, I forgot we were working. <laughs> you can't take me anywhere. It's gonna, it's gonna sink in one. one of these days. A, B, C. C. And sometimes Y. <laughs> That's you. You just sometimes Y. You gonna? Why we gotta do this? Why are we working today again? <laughs> Can we just not do anything today? Can we just watch TV? Like. Can we just sit down <laughs> and watch some trashy TV? Resting is critical and dolce far niente, as they say in Italia, the sweetness of nothing, of doing nothing, the sweetness of doing nothing is medicinal. At times. Not all the time, but at times. I thought it was just a sweet life. That too. La dolce vita. <laughs> oh, the, we have all the, the same. The sweetness of doing nothing. Like yeah. Italiani, noi, lo sapete benissimo, non ci piace tanto il lavoro, giusto o no? Wait a minute. <laughs> Hold on, doing nothing. You sure, you sure that we didn't come up with that? It was Italians? <laughs> <laughs> we usually do this in the car, but I don't know. I don't know if it was too hot today or because the food we have today seems like it's going to take more, um, more, uh, more coordination. Perhaps. Yeah. We've got things that are soup like, stew like. Yeah. We got stews, we got stuff. So. But it's also blazing hot outside, if we're being honest. And we were. And was fearful that these gadgets were all going to melt because mm -hmm. they've already struggled and it wasn't nearly as hot as it is today. <laughs> so tell us where we went and what we're eating. I'm not going to pronounce it correctly. Hedjole? Hedjole. Hedjole. Spelled Hedzole, but Hedjole. Yeah. It was so lovely to meet the owner. And we actually met the owner today. The lucky break. And now we get to try her delicious food. So what did uh, Jones get today? Well, he chose to go with a white rice. Um, um, coconut rice. Oh, yes, you're right. <gasps> I love coconut you, rice. Coconut rice. Um, coconut rice and uh, oxtail. oxtail. <gasps> redo, redo. And, um, I want the coconut rice and plantain. He made me get the jollof rice, which is lovely. But I love you coconut rice, so I'm gonna have to. Of course, we're gonna share everything. You know how this goes. She's gonna have my, we already and know I'm just gonna food. be hungry because she's What's gonna his eat all mine? my stuff. What's his is mine. That's <laughs> what happens in marriage. That's why you get married. Just okay, kidding. What, <laughs> what do you have? I have jollof rice, and he's gonna grab it. Um, jollof rice with the cabbage and then the um it came salmon <laughs> you got salmon yes the salmon Did but also the salmon? greens well i haven't gotten to the greens that are over top the salmon yet i was going oh, to okay. mention that first which is the um it's it's not uh a goosey but it's similar to a goosey it, it's a goosey yeah in nigeria and a goosey in ghana and so that's what this is a goosey stew with spinach so I chose that as the topping, uh, which also came with plantain, hallelujah. Uh, and then we got these lovely beans. Oh wait, sorry, the pounded yam. Show them the pounded yam, which we've not had pounded since yam. we were in or Naija fufu. or Fufu, depending on where you are. And then Ishe ordered us some uh, sides. We have the um, kale salad to begin with, so something raw and green. Kale salad. We love it. Yeah, we always have healthy stuff. Oh, healthy stuff. Was oh, that the dressing that popped out? Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right. We also got this very interesting um, red bread, which is Ghanaian chili-like stewed black-eyed peas served with fried plantain, which is this guy. 
got mm-hmm. you. Red, mm-hmm. red. Mm-hmm. red. Plantains red. and beans. Red, red. Red, red. Mm-hmm. And then since I got for my salmon the spinach uh, and agushi, 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 ishe to make keep things different so that we're tasting as much as we can. Actually, ended up getting this like tomato like gravy. It's tomato based soup basically. Uh, it's called ground nut soup. Ground nut soup. Tomato based savory soup there made with is. peanut butter and served with cassava and plantain fufu dumpling. Ah. So this is to accompany the soup. Got it. I thought this was the gravy to go over your meat. No, this is an actual ground nut soup. Solo soup with the yam, which in itself, the pounded yam, is a meal. So Ishe and I will eat for days. Until and we're hungry least, enough to eat. Until at for least days. tomorrow evening, we'll be good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, uh, are we ready? We are ready. Would you like another napkin, my love? I got one. Okay. Super. All right. May All right. we dig in? Let's dig it in. Five o'clock in the afternoon. Let's go. Because she Let's is go. hungry. Hungry. I'm doing. Also, this is an opportunity for me to pose this question to you lot, to Kestay and Jones Eat family. Where else would you like us to see? What else would you like us to try? Where would you like to see us go? Do you have particular cuisines that you're interested in getting our feedback on? Or in watching us enjoy? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to eat. Mm. Wow. How's the jollof? The jollof is jollofing. Which one was better mm. between? You had jollof in, in Lagos oh. and Abuja. <laughs> I did, didn't I? This is really good. I, well, here's the uh, mm. here's the oxtail and coconut rice. Mm, mm, mm. Well, I'll say that I'm very, very happy with this jollof rice. And as far as picking a favorite, I have, mm. I'm gonna say they're on par. Wow, right? Oxtail. Oh, the coconut rice is good. I had a feeling it was going to be really good. Mm. Didn't you wow. have a feeling? I just had I a feeling. It. When I we smelled, met her. I smelled it all the way home. It smelled like Africa. It reminded me, <laughs> it just reminded me of Africa. But also just in meeting her. And meeting just her. Like, this woman yeah. knows how to cook. Yeah, I can tell. She knows, she knows what she's doing. It's delicious. It's so flavorful. Oh, yeah. So good. That is good jollof. It's wonderful jollof. Not dry, very flavorful. That's good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's so good a little too. bit of heat, not too much, like 20%. Really, really nice. You want some of these uh, oxtail? I want the coconut rice first, please, my love. How about I want spoon? Okay. Oh. Good, right? And what's this? This is the sauce for this? Mmm. Oh, this is the pepper sauce. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is the shito. Mm-hmm. Ooh, it's hot. Listen, you can <laughs> smell it. The nose is this strong. Is, this is really hot here. Mm-hmm. Really. And it comes um, with and your main nice, if you want I'm, it. I'm a pepper. We both, we both are pepper heads. We are. Mm, I don't see the sheet till here. Hold on. But it is it's basically um, hot sauce um, that is uh, habanero based, which is the primary chilies in a lot of African countries as well as in the Caribbean. Wow. It's just got, I wonder if it has scotch bonnet. Yeah, that's the same Peppers. thing. Okay. Habaneros and scotch bonnet. Are they not the same thing, guys? Let us know in the comments. But this is good as a Mickey picky. I've not even tried the salmon yet. I'll let him have the first salmon bite. Oh, especially with the hot sauce. With this hot sauce. Woo! Okay, I know that I don't normally do this, but I almost want to give it its rating. It's right now, everything is perfection. But I'll wait. I'll wait till the end. It's not, <sighs> not let me not put the horse 
in front or the carriage in front of the horse, right? Is that the same? Don't put the cart in front of the horse. That one. So? Um, man, that salmon is so good. And it is a nice big piece of chamon. <laughs> chamon. <laughs> I never heard you mess up any food word at all. You are tripping. First meal of the day. You are it tripping. would appear that my blood sugar is fantastic. <laughs> and try the salad. And try the salad right quick. Because mm. I smell, when the and juice fell, I, I have smell in it too. Mmm. Delicious. Ooh. And it's not dry. Oh. It was sitting in the car for an hour for us to drive back. Yeah. And it's not dried out. Hey. I'm sad that I wasted some of this <laughs> this dressing on the table because it tasted. Oh. <laughs> what is this? Mamma mia, ragazzi. This, this is so Wow. This is so good and tasty. Wow. It's slightly citrusy. Yeah. Very fresh. A little bit sweet. Almost like there's an OJ kinda, in there. Yeah, like some yeah, like some OJ or some I thought it was <clears throat> pineapple. First, wow. Mmm. Okay, here's uh taking the foo foo, dip it in the in the stew. I'm gonna try this egg goose. She said it's we soup, but it's really stew. Thank you for that clarification, Candice, because although I've traveled to Nigeria, I actually was very confused about the stew and the mm. soup and which was what. Ooh. It seems to me that those terms are interchangeable. You Back to you, it. Jones. You gotta try it. Um, With the peanut are butter. You, gonna, you want some rice? I don't know if you can eat cassava. Yeah, 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 because it's, okay. um, it's, it's a starch, so it's gluten-free. Okay. You can't have gluten, y'all. That's more gluten for me. No. No. I'm taking him off the gluten too. He just doesn't know it yet. I don't need no gluten. Mmm. I love this foo foo because yeah. it reminds me of like mashed potato. It is. It's a very different foo foo. I'm not. Well, it's my first time having foo foo. Let me say that. You, I did you eat any when we was? It's about. It's the same thing. But it, this tastes Basically. very differently. This is more potatoey for some reason. Hey. I don't mind it. It's good. Let me try it with the spoon. I just want to get in here. Yeah. Would mm. you like to try it with the spoon? Here, babe. That way you can taste the peanut. Come here, Tom. Man, Tom. Really? Oh, it's and it's uh, spicy. Mamma mia. That is so, man. Tomato, onions, We've been to tomatoes, Nigeria. Peanuts. All we have to do is go next door. Heat, habanero. Mm-hmm. And the food in Nigeria was amazing, though. Let's not, let's not pretend that it wasn't. It was. It was great. It was. Mm -hmm. All right, let's try this. The beans. Finger looking good. This, this the red, red. I still have to try this egusi spinach. <clears throat> <clears throat> We're competing now. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Go ahead. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. This is the red red. That's hot. why I got its name. Red red. It's red hot. And it's good. <clears throat> it's got, it's like uh, pinto beans. Um, or black eyed peas. Yeah, black eyed peas. And uh, some other bean. And it's got plantains, tomato base. I think, mm -hmm. but it's very seasoned. Like all this food is seasoned like a Mickey Ficky. <laughs> so all of the seasons is, is just popping. So flavorful. You gotta try the spinach. Oh, it kind of tastes emotion. like barbecue. Yeah. Barbecue beans. <clears throat> Everything is not only flavorful, it's not overcooked, it's not dry. Oh yeah. Isn't it lovely? I'm feeling that. Ooh. So next time I'm gonna get the Elushi. <laughs> oh man. Let me try your mm -hmm. this, uh, Show the people the cabbage. The cabbage. You know we can't <clears throat> it's not a meal without cabbage. Got some Igusi on there. And some some uh Jola. 
just in case you guys didn't get a good view earlier because I just served it to Jones, here's the consistency and the texture wow. of the soup. Really, really nice. I don't know what she did with that cabbage. Everything. But is man. <laughs> chef's kiss. Man, this, oh man. Shout out also to the containers Ms. that Candace, Candace chose. Miss Candace works mm -hmm. so hard. All biodegradable. To bring everybody this good food, yeah. That's what also what I liked um, in her shop. You can see like the uh, the uh, plate flatware, the bowl, the plates mm. and the bowls. Mm -hmm. They look like they're from Africa. They Possibly. look really nice. I wonder if you get served in those bowls if you yeah have, if, if, if you, you stay in yeah because there's a this is it's limited seating. It's a small space as you guys saw, but there is seating available. Man. I I wish I had some more, um, I'm gonna get extra foo foo next time. Finger licking good. Oh mm. man, this is so, this was a good pick. Babe? I found a place and she chose. We were gonna do another place before this one. We're definitely gonna do this one, but I'm glad we did this one first because now <laughs> we can stop the video now. Boop. <laughs> Babe? I have to thank you for finding this place and for encouraging us to go back 48 hours later. <laughs> <laughs> I'm paying attention and I'm paying attention to this. Have we tried the plantain, my love? Hmm? Woo! It's hot. Can't go. There's no misses here. Everything is hidden. Everything is hidden. Why am I wiping my hands and not doing it? <laughs> That's what my, my mom in law. She's like, don't wipe my hands off unless you're done. <laughs> oh. So, uh,. Mm hmm. Yeah, it was really good. Like my mind just blown. I wish I wish y'all can taste this, but that's what y'all are watching us for. We need you guys to. We'll go do the research and let you know how it is. And uh, we need you guys to a share her business and support her. B share our channel and support us <laughs> <laughs> and see get free and stay free <laughs> in that wow. order <clears throat> in that order um, wow yeah i this is this i don't know is if it's such a good time um what i'm talking about good time this was a good place to go because you definitely if you're in the dc area or your dmv Hell, if you're in New York or Philly, just come down, down 95, come down the highway and go to hit this shop up. You won't be sorry. You will be very appreciative. Yeah, I agree. I'm, um, I don't know, out of all the mukbangs we've done thus far, <clears throat> this is my favorite. This is one of my- High up there, yeah. yeah. This I mean, is probably <laughs> it's really high up. It might it might be right now. Yeah, this is a this one is a game changer. Mm -hmm. I was kind of because we haven't went to uh, Ghana, so it never we haven't been there yet, so it didn't occur to me to at least try the food first. <clears throat> well, now I tried the food. <laughs> Um, no, I know definitely this is on our place to go. Did you try this hot sauce though? <clears throat> That's she why thought? I'm joking. Oh. <laughs> and see, we, we pepper people and this is still hot. <laughs> Literally this morning, just before we went out to get this food or earlier today, we went you know, I was at the cutting board chopping up jalapenos or like chilies, which we keep in a container. We also have spicy olive oil. 
we also have ground <laughs> cayenne pepper. Like, Jones and I, we're about this life. <laughs> we're about this spicy life. The only time we don't want spicy is when it's in our sweet. And even that's not entirely true because we love chichipsa. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> so even with chichipsa, which is honey, we still like so. that spice. <clears throat> Tell people what chichipsa is. Oh, if you've not had chichipsa, and by the way, my first time having chichipsa was in Ethiopia. Shout out to Ethiopia. Today I watched a uh, fellow YouTuber who unfortunately said that the food in Ethiopia is trash. <laughs> she was, she was on something. She is definitely, she is definitely smoking some. Um, she had bumped and hit her stuff. head because said no one ever like i mean man come on take on it some people like if you think ethiopian food is trash something's wrong with your taste buds something you you might you might be used to eating trash <laughs> you think that food is trash so not only was that hurtful because obviously this is my part of my heritage and tradition but because we have <clears throat> vlogged <laughs> in Ethiopia. We had an amazing time in Ethiopia. And half the time, we couldn't stop raving over how great the food was in Ethiopia. That's one of the best things. <laughs> that the country has to offer. It is one of the best features of, of the culture, is the food. You got, yeah, and you got organic food. You got fresh food. You have meat, plenty of vegetables yeah. and fruit. Plenty yeah, of vegetables not, and fruit. I mean, the thing is, it's the spices. That's. There's so many spices in the food, it's ridiculous to get wrong. So chichipsa, sorry, going back to my, no, oh. my original huh. point, is basically like a, a flatbread, which I make it with us so that it's gluten-free, but traditionally, traditionally it's, it can be made also with wheat. Uh, and basically it's just wheat and water. When you, um, you know, turn it into a dough, flatten it out, you can cook it on a skillet or something, you know, uh, comparable for not too long. Uh, it's about yay thick, right? So just imagine like a slightly thicker flat bread than like a normal flat bread. Um, and then, you, you know, you can season it however you want. Some people would add ghee or butter or oil, um, break it up into small pieces. And then, because <laughs> that's how you know it's hot. Um, and then you add the berbere, right? And in Eritrea, that's pretty much where it stops. You might add some rugo, also known as sour well, yogurt or sour cream in order to help balance it out because of the spiciness from the berbere. Because you put ample berbere mixed with ample oil or ghee or uh, butter. It really just depends on the person. Um, but in Ethiopia, they take it one step further. They omit the rugo, the uh, yogurt and the sour cream. And instead they add honey and it is brilliant. It's brilliant. It's literally one of our favorite dishes. We couldn't get enough of it. And that's one of the many, 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 many delicious foods that Ethiopia had to offer. So that is to say, if you had the misfortune of coming across this YouTuber's video as well, where she said that the food was trash, we won't name her, um, please check out our vlog. In fact, we'll link it in the description box below because all you'll see is us raving about the food. Raving. So grateful. In fact, if I'm being completely honest with you, throughout the continent of Africa, the limited countries that I've been to thus far, they rank, you know, pretty much at the top, to be honest with you, just in terms of well, the um, variance, the range. There's so many Habesha Michelin Guide star uh, restaurants here. And I believe the lady is from this area <laughs> so, that youtuber that'll tell you something some people just haven't been to many places and when they go somewhere they think they know everything and they really don't i'm i'm just cleaning this bone <laughs> no it's just sad because um you know it's when you say that it's such a broad general statement and for people that have never been to the continent they yeah. might take that as word, as law. Well, yeah, I mean, I think every culture would be mad if you diss their food. But this one, like, saying that <laughs> the food in Ethiopia is trash, that's just weird. That's some of the best food in the world. You know? We'll just say this one thing and then 
This last bit will probably actually piece it all together for you and you'll probably know who she was. Um, she went viral a few years ago for complaining that this very, that this very food, a country in which this food came from today, so Ghanaian food, Ghana, didn't have snacks. She was complaining about that. She went viral over that complaint years ago. Yeah. I don't know what she's used to eating because there's plenty of food to be had in Ghana. Does an avocado not constitute as a snack? It's plentiful. A mango? Or does it have to come in a cellophane wrapper for it to constitute it's a snack? It's got to be processed to constitute. Um, <laughs> all a right. banana's not a snack? <laughs> all, right, let's, all right, let's get back to our mukbang. <laughs> we went off on a tangent, y'all. So, uh, she hurt me to my core. <laughs> that was hurtful. It was hurtful to hear. It was hurtful and to hear. It sounds really just kind of ignorant. And, and in the definition of the word, not saying person's ignorant. I mean, yeah. it's ignorance because ignorance is just not knowing, not exactly. to know. So, anyway, I am full. I tore this whole bone up. This there's no meat that I can get to. I would sit here and. And um, eat the gristle, but I'm not doing that today. So anyway, um, oh, let me have some of that. That was good. <laughs> you know when the salad is good. Even when the salad is good, you know the rest of the courses is going to be fire. Candice, thank you for putting so much dressing. Because oh, yeah. I'm going to keep it. I'm we, gonna keep the dressing until you give me the recipe. <laughs> we'll and add it to another salad. Up. We'll be using something to sop up that. Mm -hmm. I'll add it to another salad. But man, I would love to get the recipe for that. Mm. Um, did you want any more oxo? Mm -mm. All right, so you tried it. It is fire, fire, fire. Mm. Okay, so what are we gonna rake? Man. I'm just gonna say it. Nine. This is the first. This is the first, y'all. First, <laughs> y'all been following us. Y'all know she is not. She don't. She don't let up off the uh, gas pedal. No. <laughs> she she don't make it easy. She don't be nice. Nope. She don't mince her words. Mm -hmm. She says exactly when it comes to food. She don't give you her honest truth. And mm -hmm. this is the first time she gave. I've scored of, anyone this high. Scored anyone, yeah. Yeah. And not just because um, the owner is a very nice, lovely woman. A it fellow is, lock. Dread. Yeah. No, when she when she scores a food, she is serious about scoring food. So she gives it a nine. Yeah. I give it a nine as well. Um, yeah. I don't I don't know what else what else to say. This this whole meal, this whole meal, like, and we still have, we still have food left. Plenty. Like, we got, you know, it was a good price. The price was good. It was, it was, it was comparable. Yeah. So it's not cheap. It's not expensive. It's right, just right, sweet spot. Yeah. Especially for when you, you know, when you talk about eating out. Um, but, but we did get closer to $50 than we got to 100 for two people eating, which is a rarity. Yeah, normally, yeah, but... This fly's trying to photobomb us. <laughs> Just ignore him. Out. Um, so, with that being said, uh, this was great. We recommend it 100%. Go to Hedjole. 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 Tell them. H-E-D-Z-O-L-E. Tell them to Keste and Jones sent you. Tell them we sent y'all. Well, well done, done Candace. Candace. This was the bomb. It is the bomb. I still got more left. So, uh, man, great, great time. Great restaurant. Great food. Great yeah, owner. Everything. everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Great continent. Great continent. Great country. Mm-hmm. All right, Ghana. We coming for y'all. We're coming. <laughs> <laughs> we coming next, yeah, next year. Inshallah. <laughs> Inshallah. All right, y'all.